welcome to a very ancient and fun planting combination called the three sisters what are the three sisters sweet corn sister number one climbing beans sister number two squash sister number three I'm going to tell you more about the three sisters planting combination in a moment but first of all I've dug myself a hole I'm going to fill it with well rotted compost and then we're going to get this thing underway okay well rotted compost in the ground in a hole of just over two foot wide so about 60 centimeters and soil mounded back up first thing we do is we plant our sweet corn in a circle around about an arm's length or two foot from one side to the other i'm going to plant a dozen of these sweet corn seedlings you plant sweet corn reasonably close together it's good for stability good for pollination and the aim of the sweet corn is for this to grow up and to provide a support for the climbing beans the climbing beans will fix nitrogen into the soil which will support the healthy growth of the sweet corn and around the base of the uh, sweet corn and the climbing beans we plant several squashes the squashes have broad leaves and they shade out weeds which means that there's less competition for any of our three plots in the three sisters combination. Now this combination goes back to the Native Americans. It was they who um, devised it and it's used by gardeners all around the world now. It's great fun and it's really productive and it's very beautiful too, as you will see in time. Okay, so that's about a dozen sweet corn circle diameter about two foot 60 centimeters or your arm forearm length now the uh, sweet corns themselves about four to six inches apart they're going to grow up we need to get them going though before we plant the beans because the sweet corn is going to be the climbing frame for our climbing beans so we're going to come back and plant the beans when these guys have started getting some serious growth on so our sweet corn seedlings are now well on their way as you can see They've darkened up a little bit. We've got some much stronger leaves growing and they're starting to gain in height. Thanks to watering and all that lovely compost that we buried in that planting pit before we started. So now that our first sister is on her way, we're gonna put in the second and third sisters. So the second sister is in my back pocket, runner beans. So I really only want about three runner bean plants for these 12 sweet corn seedlings. Uh, but I'm going to plant uh, five seeds and if they all strike then I'll just pinch out the two weakest ones. So in go my runner bean seeds. There you go, good luck. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what's going to happen is the sweet corn's going to get going and the runner beans will slowly catch up, but they won't overpower the sweet corn. Hopefully they will be able to use the sweet corn as a great climbing frame. Now the final of the three sisters is of course our squash. I've got some over here. Now I probably would normally use uh, courgettes, but all our courgettes have been planted. So I've got some butternut squash here. Butternut squash they are really uh, big growers so I'm probably going to have to sort of wind them around a little bit um, that can be fun anyway so here's one on this corner here and remember that the butternut squash will have these big leaves around the base that's going to shade out weeds around our sweet corn plants and that's really how the um, three sisters work it's all about cooperation uh, here we go that's our second one and I'm going to put our third one right here uh, away you go I've put some multi-purpose compost into the soil for the squashes I mean squashes just love to grow of course so it doesn't take much for them to get started but I've got some slow release compost in here as well just to help add a little bit of extra nutrients to the compost that we put in earlier so really from now on it's about watering and then really watching and enjoying this amazing ancient vegetable planting combination